Y'all know her? That's Ann Walton Cronkey, the richest woman in the U.S. Let's talk about it. Welcome. Welcome to Peace of the Power with Ty. I'm Ty, and I appreciate you guys coming to check my channel out. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a veteran, you already know what to do. Go down below and hit that like button. And if you like any of the content in this video, definitely make sure you share it and hit that like button. It really helps me out with people finding this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. So you can come back and see me. My channel is all about making sure people are aware of the different avenues to get a piece of the pie. And today is an episode of Think Like the Wealthy. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about Mrs. Ann Walton Cronkey. She is the wealthiest woman in the United States. But how did she get there? Ann Walton Cronkey's net worth is $9.3 billion. She is 72 years old and she's heir to the Walmart fortune. Her father, Bud Walton, who died in 1995, was business partners with his brother, Sam Walton, who was the founder of Walmart. So everyone should know the Walton family and she inherited some of the shares from her father, which made her a very, very wealthy person. So when we talk about generational wealth, this is exactly what we mean by generational wealth. Her father built something that when he passed, it was still very, very valuable and could keep it in the family. He built something that no one could take away from them. As you guys know, they say the rich don't work for money. They use their head and think and build something that no one can take away. And that's where generational wealth comes in. If you build assets or acquire assets and are able to give them to your family once you leave, because everybody in number is going to be called eventually, you're going to leave the next generation way better off than you started. And that's what generational wealth is all about. The Walton family built something that no one can ever take away from them. And something else that's important when we're talking about this generation of wealth, you got to also make sure that you are teaching your kids and your family members how to keep that wealth. And that's what the Walton family clearly did. And Walton Crunky is owner of the Denver Nuggets and the Colorado Avalanche NHL team. So she definitely knows how to acquire assets and make sure that her money is going to make money for her. This is the trait that the Waltons had. And not only is the Walton family wealthy, the Crunky family is too. Her husband, Stan Crunky, is worth $10.7 billion. So that's another trait that you can find from the wealthy. The wealthy like to make sure that they mingle with other wealthy people. They know their partners are business minded and know how to keep wealth just like them. So just looking at Ann Walton Crunky, we can take a few things away because again, this is all about making sure you think like the wealthy. One, make sure you're leaving a legacy behind for your family. We all can go at any moment and the question is, what are you going to leave your family? Are you gonna leave your family in debt? Or are you gonna leave a couple assets behind for your family and kids so that you are bettering the next generation. If you don't better the next generation and you leave behind debt, you just set a whole generation back. Or you just wasted a whole generation to build for your family. The wealthy didn't just become wealthy overnight. It takes generations to become wealthy. There are a few exceptions, like a player going to the NFL, or NBA or one person 
really making it good and can help the family. But when you're talking about a wealthy family, that takes years to build. That takes decades to build. That takes generations to build. So make sure, whatever you do, make sure you are bettering the next generation. Me, myself, my mission is to make sure that my family and my kids and my grandkids are definitely well off. I'm putting things in place to make sure that happens because I myself didn't get a head start. I myself didn't have anything handed to me and I had to go out there and get it. So I started with zero, but the foundation has to be laid somewhere and I'm making sure that the foundation is laid with me. All right. So make sure you leave a legacy for your family Two, make sure you educate your family. Make sure you educate your family on how to keep the wealth that you will leave them. Anyone can acquire money, but if they don't know how to use that money and sustain that money and make that money make money for them, that money is going to soon evaporate and they're not going to know how or why it happened. According to the National Endowment for Financial Education, about 70% of people who win a lottery or receive a large windfall of money go bankrupt within a few years. And that's because they're not financially literate. If you don't teach the next generation how to sustain wealth and how to keep it and how to make your money make money for you by acquiring assets, not liability, you can dump a million dollars on them. And then in a couple years, they're not gonna have that million. That million is going to be gone if they don't know how to use it. All right. So make sure that we educate the next generation. So if you leave behind a big fortune like Bud Walton left and Walton Crunky, your next generation can make it to the top list as the wealthiest woman in the U.S. If you like any of the content in this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, stop right now and go and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel so you can come back and see me. I got plenty more to talk about. Thanks.